Hello, you are welcome. Here, yeah, how to find the value of x in this nice exponent problem. Let's divide through by nearest to power x. So we have nearest to power x divided by nearest to power x, then plus 15 raised to power x divided by nearest to power x, then equals to 25 raised to power x, then divided by nearest to power x. Then next, here, this cancel out, give me 1, then plus, what we have here, when we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n, this same thing as a over b, all raised to power n. Then, here, this gives us 15 over 9, all raised to power x, then equals to 25 over 9 all raised to power of x then from here we can reduce this 3 we go here that's 5 3 go here that's 3 so we have 1 plus 3 5 over 3 now then raised to power of x equals to here we can express 5 as 25 here as 5 square that's 5 times 5. Also, 9 here as 3 square. That's 8 times 3. Then raised to power x. Then from here, we can also apply this here. And this will become 1 plus 5 over 3 raised to power x. Now equals to we have 5 over 3 or raised to power 2 now. Then which is raised to power x. Then from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m, a raised to power n, this the same thing as a raised to power m, and which is also the same thing as a raised to power n, a raised to power m. So here we can interchange this power here, and this becomes 1 plus 5 over 3, all raised to power x. Now equal to 5 over 3 raised to power x now, then all raised to power 2. Then from here, we have 5 over 3 raised to power x common. So let a letter represent that. So let y be equal to 5 over 3 all raised to power x. Then this equation becomes. 1 plus y equals to y squared. Then next, we can use this to form a quadratic equation by taking everything to one side. So this becomes y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0. Then from here, we solve this using the quadratic formula y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1 and uh, this will become y equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 then here this gives us y equals to here become plus that's 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square that's 1 then minus times minus that's plus that's plus 4 over 2 then this gives us y equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So here we have two possible cases of y. So we have, first one we have y equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then the second one we have y equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then recall that we represented y as 5 
to y3 all raised to power x so y equals to 5 over 3 all raised to power x now this implies that we have on this side 5 over 3 raised to power x now to be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 then same thing on this side we have 5 over 3 all raised to power x equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 then here this is expected to be a positive result and this is also a positive result so this can be accepted then on this side this is positive why this is negative so this is rejected here on this side then when we work with what we have here from the relation when we have a raised to power x equals to b so here x will be same thing as log b obeys a so similarly here x will now be equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then to base 5 over 3 and we can use change of base when we have log a to base b so the same thing as log a over log b so now here we can rewrite it and we have f now equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divided by we have log 5 over 3 on this side then when we solve this from here we can apply this law as well when we have log a over b so this same thing as log a minus log b and here so x will now be equal to log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 then over here this gives us log 5 minus log 3 then when we simplify this we have x equals to 0 0.51 then minus log 2 is 0 0.301 then over here we have log 5 which is 0 0.69 9 from here then minus log 3 0 0.477 from there then x will now be approximately equals to so from here when we subtract we have the 0 0.209 here then divided by what we have here when we subtract 0 0.222 then here it means x now is approximately equals to 0 0.941 so here we have the approximate solution to x here and thank you for watching don't forget this text subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment. Thank you. See you next time. Bye for now.